Imagine a world where Apple actually embraced AI. You could be writing in a pages document, maybe just have a few bullet points. You select that text, then you can summon that virtual assistant you know so well and ask it to make it an entire blog post. Or maybe you want to select those bullet points and then ask the virtual assistant to make it into a keynote presentation. You can choose a couple photos from your iCloud photo library and all of a sudden you have a multi-slide presentation in Keynote ready to go. Or let's say you're working in numbers and you want to make a pie graph but you're not sure how to do it. You could just ask Apple's AI, make this data into a pie chart. Then once you have your Keynote presentation, maybe you select some of those slides and ask the AI to make some animations that you're going to use in Final Cut for the video project. Apple's advantage of having so many first-party applications across the entire ecosystem could make an AI tool like Siri, it's already there, incredibly powerful for Apple users. As I watched Google's I.O. keynote, which is their developers conference, they said AI over a hundred times. And at the beginning of the presentation, Google CEO Sundar Pichai said that they are an AI first company. Now, Seven years into our journey, as an AI first company, we are at an exciting inflection point. Now Apple has yet to even mention AI at any of its events. And honestly, at WWDC later this summer, I don't think they're going to say AI either. AI, 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 AI. I don't think they want to actually use that terminology. That's a little bit of a misnomer, but we're not going to get into that. They'll probably say machine learning and mention Siri a whole lot. Machine learning models. Machine learning. We use machine learning. And while a lot of the rumors talk about Apple releasing a VR headset, honestly, seeing a lot of Google's announcements at I.O. related to search and magic editor for photos, I'm actually less excited for a VR headset than I am if Apple could actually utilize some of these AI and machine learning tools into their applications. Think about it, Apple Mail, it's on every one of their devices, it's their application. Imagine if you needed to write a vacation responder and as you begin to type, maybe you can just ask Siri, write me a vacation responder until this date saying I'm going to Hawaii and all of a sudden it just appears for you. Or if you're a developer working in Xcode and you need a little help coding something, imagine an AI virtual assistant there. And Apple already has the Assistant, Siri is everywhere. It's on your HomePods, your iPhone, and your Mac, and that could actually be where the AI tools live. And Apple doesn't have to call it AI, they can call it Ask Siri instead of, hey, you know what? Or they can call it Siri Supercharged. Now with Final Cut Pro coming to the iPad, there are some features that do actually feel like AI features. Auto Crop, where you can take a 16 by nine video, and then Final Cut Pro on iPad will automatically crop and focus on the subject. Any other company would call that an AI feature but Apple calls it intelligently auto-cropping. That's fine. Or the remove background. These are the kinds of features that Apple could bring to Siri and use in all of their applications. Imagine using shortcuts. Now I've been using SGPT from Federico Vitici, which actually uses the ChatGPT API to use AI in my shortcuts. Now I have a whole video explaining my process on that. I'll put it above. But with that SGPT shortcut, I can actually take all the links that I save for recording a podcast, all the headlines for the news, and when I send all those headlines through my shortcut, it gets the titles of those articles and sends it through ChatGPT to summarize all the headlines, give me an SEO optimized podcast title and episode description, and now I don't even have to think about it. I can ask it for more options, I can doctor the text later, but that's so powerful just having that single step of ChatGPT within a shortcut. Imagine if Apple builds that in so you don't have to use ChatGPT, but instead Siri is either more powerful or there's just some kind of AI tool that Apple uses in shortcuts. Or maybe it can just intelligently offer the next step in a shortcut it thinks you want to create. Not to mention the kind of AI features that Apple could put in Apple Photos, an iCloud Photo Library, in Final Cut, even in Aperture. Oh wait, Apple already has a lot of features that fall into this lane. Think about frequent locations on your iPhone. If you allow that location access in the privacy settings, your iPhone will actually see the places you go most often and when you go. And then around that time of day when you go to that location, you'll see that notification on your lock screen. Maybe it's maps telling you how long it's going to take to get there or suggesting a different route. Apple is no stranger to these kinds of features, but if they take it a few steps farther and really lean into either the large language model, meaning conversational and really generating a lot of text for you in their iWork suite, or bringing some of these AI seeming features that are in Final Cut Pro on iPad to the Mac. Final Cut on Mac can't do that auto crop just yet. Maybe it'll come, but honestly, there's so many AI tools like Runway ML, which can do the automatically remove background and a ton of other features, other AI tools that allow you to enhance the audio or the video of your content. And if Apple did it, I would be confident in the privacy and security and how that language model or virtual assistant is dealing with all my data. Again, seeing some of the changes that Google talked about that are coming to Google search, 
Namely, Google is going to use AI to generate content at the top of your Google searches, hopefully offering you the information you need without you ever having to actually go to a website. I think there's actually gonna be large ramifications for websites that really depend on traffic for monetization through ads. But that aside, that kind of automatically giving you the answer before you ever click a link, Apple is already doing a little bit of that. If you use Spotlight on your iPhone and you search for a celebrity name, Siri is going to show you that Wikipedia article right at the top and encourage you to just go directly there and obfuscate or get around the whole Google search or search engine query. One of the things I think we will see at WWDC is more powerful search options where Apple will give you more results right there on the Spotlight screen, whether it's Spotlight on the Mac, Spotlight on the iPhone or iPad, and maybe obfuscate the need to actually go to your search engine of choice. It's clear that Google and Microsoft are all in on AI. Microsoft is integrating ChatGPT and OpenAI in Bing and that search engine. Google is using Bard and obviously way in on AI, saying they're an AI first company. And Apple is strangely silent. They did do an internal conference to talk about AI just within their employees and staff. And so they acknowledge that AI is a thing, but they have not gone so far as to tell us, the consumers, what they're going to do with AI. And yes, a VR headset, I guess might be cool if they really give us some good use cases, but I almost feel like we're moving a little past the whole VR excitement. And now it's all about what can AI do for me? And honestly, there's probably more practical use cases for AI tools for regular people than there is a VR headset. And that is one of the challenges of a lot of the AI tools now. I've used ChatGPT and Notion AI and now the SGPT shortcut, but for most people, it's just a text box and it can be difficult to understand how that could play into your workflow. One of the things Apple really excels at is offering those kinds of powerful features and making it accessible to most people so they can understand how to use it in their workflow. If Apple were to use some of this AI or generative technology in their apps like Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, in Final Cut, or even iCloud Photos, then I feel like more people will actually understand the power of AI and how it could be useful in their workflows. So we'll see, we're just a couple weeks away from WWDC. Apple's gonna make a bunch of announcements, iOS 17 and all that, but I'm really gonna be looking for their mentions of machine learning. And if anything smells like AI at WWDC, I'd be excited to see how Apple implements it. Let me know what you're excited for at WWDC in the comments below this video. Hit the like button and subscribe. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of news around WWDC, product announcements, most likely hardware like a 15 inch MacBook Air and maybe that VR headset. So stay tuned right here. And you can also subscribe to my newsletter. Just go to beard.fm and you'll have all the links there. Thanks for tuning in. And before you go, there's also some cool videos floating around my head. Check one of those out. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.